Sure, thanks for joining me and welcome back. My name is Bernadette. And today we're gonna to talk about Pratipaksha Bhavanam, which is a practice offered in the Yoga Sutras. It comes from book two, sutra number 33. And it's basically the practice of cognitive reframing. So the way that it works is we can have these thought patterns that are really negative and sort of keep rolling through, right? Or we can have a certain experience or a relationship that we just have these negative, negative feelings about. And we suffer from that, right? We're human beings. We have these experiences. We have thoughts about those experiences and emotions and feelings, and we can suffer from that. And so Pratipaksha Bhavanam is a really interesting tool that helps us to observe, become willing, and then choose a better thought, choose to have a better experience around this certain thing or this negative thought pattern. So it's not at all about being in denial or ignoring reality, but it's about acknowledging this thought pattern or my relationship to this experience is having me suffer and I can choose to stay that way and continue to suffer or I can choose to see this differently. I can be willing to view this from another perspective and this is a really cool way to like change our relationship with certain thoughts or certain things and then also find gratitude in things that we wouldn't necessarily think of as an experience to be grateful for. So it's, it's as simple as it sounds. It's, so let me give you an example. If I have this big family and all these beautiful children and it has me really, really busy and exhausted every day. And there's just, I'm looking at the full laundry pile and I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what a freaking mess. I am stressed out, blah, blah, blah. In that moment, you'd catch the thought. You'd say, can I be willing to see this differently? Do I need to suffer from this thought or can I reframe a little bit? And then you choose a new thought, like, how lucky am I to have this beautiful, healthy family that creates all this laundry? How lucky am I to have part of my life's purpose be taking care of all these beautiful people that bring so much love into my life? So that's like one little kind of silly example, um, but it gives you a sense. So. I just wanted to offer this as we look at what we're thankful for this year, and especially during a year that's just been a little bit more challenging, I want to offer this and invite you to dig really deep and, you know, maybe make a gratitude list of all the things that you're obviously grateful for, and then take one or two or three things that you're like, oh, I wasn't really grateful for that thing. But see if you can reframe it a little bit. See if you can find some kind of silver lining. Is there a learning experience from it? Is there some kind of empowering thing to come out of this? So um, that's Pratipaksha Bhavanam. And you can really do it with any sort of thought pattern or any sort of experience. And... Um, it's just useful for everything in our lives. And I think especially if you're having trouble really finding the gratitude of this year, this can be a cool practice to try out and just be willing to see it differently. So of course we have to be able to observe our, observe our thought patterns and then choose um, and be willing to see it differently. And then picking another thought and just finding a way for this to actually be a little bit of a better experience for you, whatever that is. So that's just kind of one understanding of Pratipaksha Bhavanam. Um, in different commentaries on the Yoga Sutras, different people offer sort of different little ways to look at it. So it's definitely worthy of, if it's something that you're interested in peeking around at, um, looking 
at some different commentaries on the Yoga Sutras to get a few different perspectives. Um, but that's just from my own personal per current perspective on it, which of course can change over time. But I wanted to offer it and wish you the most amazing Thanksgiving and wish for you that and invite you to um, maybe take some of the hard things of this year and see if you can apply Pratipaksha Pavanam and just be willing to see things a little bit differently and just see what happens. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear about them. So leave a comment below or you can reach out to me through my website at BernadetteSolar.com. Wishing you the most amazing, blessed holiday season this year. And I will see you next time.